Hi everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to use AWS Amplify. We'll be learning how we can deploy our front-end application inside AWS Amplify. And we'll be also learning how we can add our own custom domain to access our front-end website. So let's get started. This was our notes application that we have developed in our previous scalable notes application tutorial. If you have not watched that video, you can either watch that video or you can simply clone the repository from GitHub. Here we basically have two parts. First one was our front-end React application and our back-end Node.js application. We used Cognitor for Authentication in DynamoDB for our database. And now we are going to be deploying this React application inside our AWS Amplify so that our React application can be accessed by anyone. You are inside AWS console, depending upon your region, make sure to select the correct region and search for Amplify. Select AWS Amplify, you click on Deploy an app. We have already deployed our notes application in our GitHub repository. We'll be using this. For this, we'll be selecting GitHub, then clicking on Next. Here we need to authenticate with our GitHub account. For this, let's just log in. And now from here, we need to select our application like it was scalable notes application. If you are not seeing your repository, click here to update permissions. Here you can see that here I'm allowing the access for all repositories. If you only need selected repositories, you can select selected repositories. It totally depends upon you. And now our branch was mean. Click on next. Here comes an important part, like we need to write the build commands. It is not going to build our static files automatically. So for that, we need to edit YML file. So click on edit here. We need to mention our build commands, our artifacts command and our cache parts. Currently, if we want to build our React Notes application, then first we need to first change our directory to Notes app React. Then we need to run tmpm build. And this will just build the build version of our project. So similar to that, we need to write all the functions that we need to do. Like first, we need to navigate to the folder. So the name of the folder is Notes App React. So first we'll navigate to this folder. Then npm will not be installed in all the instances. So first we'll use npm install minus g pnpm so that it installs pnpm package manager. And then we can simply use pnpm install to install all the dependencies inside our package.json. And then we can simply run pnpm build to build our React static files here inside our base directory. Our base directory for this folder, like you can see that when we build, it's inside notes app react and this folder. Similar to this, our notes app react and this folder will be our base directory where our build files will be there. If we want, you can also add the cache parts like node modules and pnpm store so that it can reuse that multiple number of times. So for this, we have just added node modules and pnpm store. Let's click on save. Here inside advanced settings, we also need some environment variables. For now, if you check that we have our Vite backend URL and Vite frontend URL, but all of them are running inside localhost. And since we are deploying our application inside AWS Amplify, so we don't know what will be our build URL. So we can't add the environment variable now. Instead, let's click on next and everything is correct. Let's click on save and deploy. Now it will take some time to deploy our application. Like here it's showing deploying and this is our website URL. Just wait until it deploys. Like here it's building our code. Now our build and deploy are both completed. If you visit this URL, it's also working and you will find one thing that if we check the network tab and click on reload, you'll find that all the files are coming from CloudFront and it's hitting our CloudFront CDN. All the files are coming from AWS CloudFront and it's hitting our CloudFront CDN. 
So CDN is getting applied automatically. But now we need to do one thing. For now, sign in and sign up will not work because we were using Cognito. For this, we need to do some changes inside AWS Cognito. First, we need to open Cognito. Search Cognito inside the search box and here select the pool, app clients, our notes application, login pages. Here currently we are only allowing allowed callbacks from our local host. We need to also add the we need to also add the amplify domain. This was our domain. Just add this URL and we need to also add URL without the trailing slash. Just add the URL again and one more without the trailing slash. Let's save the changes. So now we have just allowed our callbacks from our Amplify application. We need to also add our environment variables. For this, inside Scalable Notes app, hosting environment variables. Here we are going to be adding our environment variables. We were using environment variables like here and in multiple places inside our front-end application. So for this, environment variables are very important. But one thing to know that we are not deploying our backend for now. Our backend is going to be running on local host 3000 only we will be doing port forwarding for this so that our port gets publicly accessible from anywhere for this we are going to be using the vs code port forwarding option simply click on forward the port enter the port number it was 3000 and now our port has been forwarded here the visibility is private just change the visibility to public so that anyone can access and now just copy the url if you visit this URL, it is showing that cannot get, once it's correct. If you also access localhost 3000, it will also show the same thing, but this one is having HTTPS. So we can copy this first, our environment variable for our backend will be this VS code forwarded tunnel and our frontend URL will be this URL. Don't add slash, just remove this slash. Now let's save. Like we have added the environment variables, but all the files are already deployed. So we need to redeploy it. For this, we can do one thing. In our loading screen, this localhost signup is not going to work correctly. So for that, we can simply use this only. On click this and inside extra query params, we can just add it as sign up. Let's save the changes and let's commit it. You'll find that when we push the changes inside GitHub, it will automatically start building our application. Like you can see that it's saying deploying pending. Here it was our last commit and it's starting to deploy. This time it will be using the environment variables that we have provided. Now it is deploying our application. Now our deployment got complete. Now if we try to refresh and click on sign in, here it's showing us the sign in authentication page hosted by AWS itself. We can just log in to an existing user, enter the password and here it is also loading our notes from our backend. Like if we reload this, we'll find that it's calling our backend using the VS code forward tunnel. It's taking some extra milliseconds to load the data, but that's not a problem. So this is how we had deployed successfully our notes application. Now, if you think that you don't like this Amplify domain, you need to have your own domain. You can also do that. It's very simple. Here, again, inside our scalable notes app and hosting, here we can check the option for custom domain. Here, currently it's using this domain. Like we need to add our domain. We can add a domain like notes app and the domain that you own like this click on domain check availability here our domain is not inside route 53 so you're going to configure manually in case if your domain is hosted in route 33 you can select the first option i'm selecting the second option because i don't have this domain inside route 53 so clicking on configure and now just choose amplify manage certificate and let's click on add domain here we need to do our domain verification otherwise it will not work now inside our domain dns provider we need to add this like here we need to add a record like here we need to add a cnm record let's select this here inside advanced dns let's add a cnm record just don't enter the last domain part and enter the value then we need to do this cdn records and then we need to add this name records for hosting our application. 
we need to navigate to our cloud front URL. Let's add one more scene. In. This one will be notes app and our cloud front URL. Similar to this, we need to add one more scene. In. Value will be similar to our cloud front URL and this will be our host name. Just add. So this three records we need to add. Let's just save all. It will take some time to add the records. After you have added the records, it will verify the domain ownership using this record. And then your app will be accessible live on this domain that you have set. Like you can see, SSL configuration was successful. So now our custom domain is live. We can access our application using www.notesapp.snoshish.com and if we don't apply the www, then also our notes app is accessible. But we should be only having one domain. Either we can have this or this, the www looks more better. So for that, inside domain configuration, we can do one thing like we can set up redirect from normal to www. Let's click on save. And now this will be our front-end URL inside our AWS Cognito. We need to add this like first one and second one will be with slash and again one more and one more with slash. Let's save the changes. And after adding this front-end URL, we need to also visit our environment variables. Here we need to also do the changes like instead of this amplify URL, we'll visit this URL and save our changes. To make this changes live, we need to go to overview again, click on deploy. From here, we need to redeploy this version. Now our new changes have been deployed. Now you will find that if you visit this notesapp.snashish.com, then you will find that we are getting redirected automatically to www. And if we try to sign in, your sign in is also working. We are now signed in. So it's also loading our notes from our backend. This is how we deployed our front-end application inside AWS Amplify. And we can also map it to our custom domain so that we don't need to use AWS CloudFront domain. So that's all for this video. In our next video, we'll learn how we can deploy our node backend in a highly scalable environment so that it can scale depending upon the load it gets.